For the last couple of years, this is the racket you've seen me playing with, the Diadem Elevate Tour. I've been a really big fan of it. In case you're not familiar with Diadem, they're an American-based racket manufacturer. And I, I love this racket because it really reminded me of the old Wilson Pro Staff kind of style rackets. The whole line of 6-1 frames I used from the Hypercarbon to the Encode to the K-Factor. I was really a huge fan of that whole line of brackets. And unfortunately, a lot of manufacturers have stopped making that style of frame, but the Elevate Tour really perfectly fit the bill. So I was really excited when Diadem told me they were coming out with a whole new line of Elevate brackets. And now there's three of them. There's the regular Elevate, which is kind of in the middle. There's the Tour, which is a little bit heavier. It's got a little bit more weight in the handle. And then there's now a brand new Elevate Lite, which is significantly lighter than even the regular Elevate. I just got done trying all three of these so I can choose which is gonna be my brand new racket. And now I'd like to share with you how I feel about all of them. We strung each of these with Diadem Solstice Black, which is a star-shaped poly. They were all strung at 53 pounds, which is what I've been used to in my, my old Elevate. And unfortunately, my old Elevate, I, I had run out of the Solstice Black, so Mark had been putting in, yeah, Mark strings my rackets. Kind of sketchy, I know. He'd been putting in Big Banger 16 gauge, which I'm pretty sure is a little bit softer than the Solstice Black. So a little bit of difference there going back and forth. But aside from that, the size of the racket is the same in the new one. The weight of the racket is the same. The balance is the same. The string pattern is the same. So I expected it to very much feel like home and it does. It feels a little bit cleaner and crisper and a little bit less flexy than the version two. But most of that honestly might just be going from the big banger to the Solstice Black. I'm not 100% sure. I, I really should have had him also string my old racket with the, the Solstice Black. But this is what you would expect from a heavier, more handle balanced player style of racket. It's super solid, a little bit more difficult to swing around the baseline and with the serve. It's not as easy to whip the racket head around as it is with a, a lighter racket. But when you do hit it clean, is super rewarding because there's just a ton of mass and weight behind it. So this is the style of racket I've just become accustomed to, and especially around the net. It's not the easiest to like whip around, but that's not the point. The point is when you do hit it clean, everything is just really super nice and, and solid to hit. Especially I would say lower, kind of more touch type of shots. I really like the, the weight of a heavier, more player style of racket. So if you have a bigger, longer swing and you like a more player type of frame, this is just a really super clean quality feeling racket. I view the regular Elevate very much as the cousin of the Elevate Tour. It's very close to the same thing, but just a little bit more maneuverable, a little bit easy to move around through the air. So the differences are 10 grams of overall weight and the balance is seven points headlight instead of eight points headlight. So almost the same balance, slightly lighter. It's the same size, it's the same string pattern. And I'm a little surprised at how much I can feel the difference. It, I wouldn't say it's a huge difference, but it's, it's very noticeable. And where I notice the contrast specifically is with ground strokes and serves, the regular Elevate, is just like 10 or 15% easier to accelerate the racket head and get, get it coming around to, to meet the ball. So it feels like it's a more powerful racket from the standpoint of maneuverability. But where the Elevate Tour is really nice is you have that little bit of extra mass or weight behind it. So the Elevate Tour, when you meet it, you know, flush and super clean, you get all that benefit of all the weight coming through Whereas the regular Elevate is a little bit easier to maneuver, but you've got just a little bit less mass behind it. So personally, I would say if you're more of a baseline or type of player, you're probably gonna gravitate more towards the regular Elevate. If you're more of a net rusher or like serve and volleyer kind of style of player, you're probably gonna gravitate a little bit more towards the Elevate Tour. They're both very much a player style of frame 
just slightly different in where the weight is and the overall mass of the racket. Whether you need rackets or bags or tennis balls or strings or grips or just about anything, Didem makes fantastic top quality stuff and you can get 15% off by using the code Real Tennis. Huge thank you to Diadem for their support of this content and this channel. Now let's talk about the Elevate Lite. This one really surprised me a lot. It's significantly lighter than both of the other two, 15 grams lighter than the regular Elevate, 25 grams lighter than the Elevate Tour. And the other main difference is now it's only three points headlight in the balance as opposed to seven for the regular Elevate and eight points headlight for the Elevate Tour. In fact, when you put strings in the racket and you balance it out, like I don't know how many of you always do this with a racket. This is how I like to tell like where exactly is the weight. I always put my hand right at the bottom of the racket head and I'm used to picking up a rack. It doesn't matter which of these. Here's the regular Elevate. The regular Elevate, you can tell like, okay, there's definitely more weight in the handle and the Elevate Tour even more so. It's like an immediate drop. And that's kind of what I'm personally looking for. Now the, the Elevate Lite, I was surprised that when I balanced it out, it actually went towards the head. And that's because the st strings weigh a little bit. And so even though the, the frame technically is a handle heavy frame, it balances more towards the head. So I expected to not like this racket very much because I just don't like those characteristics in general. But I was really surprised. It feels way more beefy and it's got much more mass feeling behind it than what is actually in the racket. And I'm not quite sure how they did that, if it was just in, in exactly how they balanced it out or the new stuff they have going on in their frame materials now. But on the baseline, it didn't feel flimsy to me at all. Now, compared to the Tour, of course, it doesn't have as much mass behind it. It's gonna, there's gonna be a little bit more twist when you hit off center and stuff like that. But it felt way more solid than it should have to me on serves and ground strokes. And where it really surprised me was up around the net. Now, on lower, more delicate kind of touch shots, you're really gonna feel the lack of weight behind the racket. But on higher shots, it was actually super solid to me. And it felt like a player racket should feel around the net. I expected it to feel really flim, not really flimsy, but annoyingly flimsy. How's that? Around the net. And it didn't play that way to me at all. So I'm really honestly impressed by this racket. And this is the type of racket that I would strongly recommend if you are in the ballpark of like 3035 and you're looking to upgrade your game. This is the type of racket you should be looking for because it's light enough that it's easy to swing, but the weight is in the right places so that it still hits solid. And it's not like a 10 ounce racket where the head is super big and all of the weight is all in the handle. So it's like super easy to flip around and twist around and like do bad technique. You want something that's balanced more like this. So you're encouraged to use a longer, smoother, more fluid motion on your ground strokes and on your serves and even on your volleys. If you're doing a lot of flipping and twisting and snapping of your wrist, you're never going to become a very good tennis player. So I'm excited for this racket because I feel like it really bridges the gap and makes it really easy and more accessible to have a player feeling frame without it being so heavy like a more traditional one. So I give you my final thoughts and the racket I'm personally choosing, but first huge thank you to Diadem for supporting Real Tennis, for supporting this content, for supporting the channel. They're offering 15% off all of their gear. So whether you're looking for rackets or tennis balls or grips or strings, or you need apparel, just about, they've got everything. And I've been working with them for a couple years now. It's all top shelf stuff. So you really can't go wrong. And huge thank you to Diadem for supporting us and making that discount code available. Just use the code REALTENNIS, you'll get 15% off. So overall, personally, just coming from a, a pro staff type of background, I still really love the Elevate Tour and I'm gonna adopt that as my new racket of choice. But I'm really pleasantly surprised, especially by the Elevate Lights. I'm gonna be recommending this racket a lot to my students and the regular Elevate is 
really nice in between. It's more similar to the Tour than it is to the Light. It's still very much a player type of frame. And so if you like that type of frame, probably try that regular Elevate first, especially if you're not used to a really heavy racket. And it's re a really nice balance of easy to maneuver, but also really solid weight behind it as well. And if you're more like a 3.5 type of player and you're looking to upgrade your game, highly recommend the Elevate Lite. Super easy to swing, but also it feels more like a player racket would. So really impressed with the whole new line of Elevate Rackets from Diadem. Again, big thank you to them for supporting our channel and our content. Go check out their stuff and use code REALTENNIS to get 15% off.